Tamarack Marketplaces open up their Best of West Virginia exhibit. Tamarack exclusively showcases West Virginia artists and this exhibit is their flagship. WAY stop by the Tamarack to get an update. Once a year, the Tamarack Marketplace hosts the Best of West Virginia exhibit. This exhibit is open to any artist who lives in West Virginia, regardless of whether or not you are a Tamarack artisan. If you are an artist living in West Virginia, you can submit your work for consideration. They usually put out their call for artists in late March through early April. Really, I'm excited about all the artists on display because a, a, a big thing I'm excited about is the fact that we have a lot of people, um, you know, who have entered this year who, uh, you know, this might be their first uh, art exhibit or their first time exhibiting at Tamarack, you know, who, who think, you know, who weren't sure if, if you know, their, their piece would ever hang in a gallery, you know, so I mean, it's really cool that it's just open like that and it, it's uh, just a great thing for the, the community. This year, there will be 82 different artists in the exhibit, highlighting a wide range of different artistic styles. It certainly takes all kinds in West Virginia, and that is evident when visiting this exhibit. There is a blind panel of judges who will select a first, second, and third prize winner. First place will be awarded $2,000, second place $1,000, and third $500. There will also be a People's Choice Award announced at the end of the exhibit on August 9th. This winner will receive $500. It's a special show. It means a lot to us. Uh, you know, like I said, every every year it's something that we re really look forward to and get excited about. So it's a great representation of not just West Virginia artists uh, on display here, but 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 the variety that we have and and just the, uh, the the magnitude of that talent. So the next time you're out and about near the Tamarack, stop by and check out art made here in West Virginia. You'll have some time to do so. The exhibit closes August 9th. News Watch Four.